Hello everyone, this is Lucy from Seaside Tarot Channel and I thought I'd just pop on to do a, um, a response to the tag that's going around from Kelly Fitzgerald's channel, The Truth and Story. And her tag, her latest tag, I think it's her latest tag, is Irreplaceable Decks. Now her theme was irreplaceable decks meaning uh, systems that haven't been copied they're the, they're a one-off they're one and only decks that you can't find in any other decks so her focus was mainly on oracle because tarot you you can read tarot with any any tarot deck but oracle tends to have its own system that's separate from tarot and so her focus was more on on oracle with I think a smattering of tarot included whereas I've included a lot of oracle but some of the tarot because irreplaceable decks for me mean sentimental decks I might be able to replace the actual tarot deck but I can't replace why I have that tarot deck so let's start let's start so the first one and the, a lot of you already know that this is a special deck for me it was given to me in 1983 by my sister at the time she's now long no longer with us so I can never replace this deck. I have got a backup copy and I am missing a card from this deck so I don't use it anymore as a tarot deck. It's just a sentimental deck for me. And um, it's the Spanish tarot. And when I got it, I didn't know anything about tarot so pip cards were a foreign language for me. And I, um, I only used the majors at the time. And I, in 1983, my life was going through a bit of a crappy time. So I kept getting the devil and I kept getting the tower and I kept getting all the cards that you don't want to get. <laughs> I kept getting them. So I put it away for a little while and then I brought it out again. And I still kept getting the tower and the devil and the, but I've now learned that the tower and the devil are very good cards to have because it indicates new beginnings and transition to a new phase in your life. It's not literal death and, um, and devil is just indicating that I need to be mindful of my attachment to certain things the time I got the card and the tower is just transforming to a new life could be bad could be good or it could be bad depending on the cards on either side so this is the Spanish tarot isn't the coloration lovely it's one of my favorite TDMs I have quite a few now thanks to some of my friends who who prefer TDM I get uh, carried away and need to have the deck as well. But this is the one that I prefer the most. And Tarot Ozarks, which is um, a modern day version of the TDM. Very colorful. So this is the one I chose because you can't replace this deck. Look at the box. You can tell it's been beat up. It's been to about 10 different locations and um, it's my connection to my sister. So that's the first one. The second one is a sentimental deck as well because last year, this is the Plasma Tarot by Paulina Fay. She's changed her name. Um, 
by NUS Games published it in 2021. So when this deck came out last year, two of my friends, my dear tarot friends, decided that we all needed to buy this deck for Beltane to do the different challenges in Beltane. And at the end of Beltane, we would split the deck into three. I can't remember why why we did that. But anyway, I'm sure Marsha will tell me. Um, and so this and the three, splitting it into three, I ended up with a third of Marsha's deck and a th this is at the end of Beltane, a third of Marsha's deck and a third of Maria's deck. And so that I can never replace the energy of this deck because it has the energy of my two dear friends from Newcastle. Apart from it being a lovely deck to use during Beltane and I would say a good deck for summer as well. I'll put that down. A good deck for summer as well. It has a little white guidebook. Nothing, nothing flash, but a US Games type guidebook. But uh, the cards are that lovely spring colour. And it gave good readings during that time. I haven't, I've only just received it back, so I haven't used it again. Look at that, the elephant for the Hierophant. Isn't that sweet? It's a lovely, sweet, gentle deck. And um, for anyone that's fearful of getting the tower and the death, I'd recommend using this deck on those people, for those people. Look at Justice. Isn't that gorgeous? Nice, sweet, gentle tarot deck. Not threatening. Even, even death is not threatening. And the tower and the and the devil is death. Not threatening. So um, we enjoyed doing our exercises together. And so that's the plasma. Plasma Tarot by Paulina Bay, by, published by US Games. So that's one deck I can never replace. That's an irreplaceable deck for me. Next one, next one is by, it's published by uh, Scarlet Imprints. In, in 2018 and it's the Okulai Okutati Tarot by uh, I, I, um, my Australian accent will butcher this uh, Red Domil Red Domil uh, Bok U Salski he's Polish so I apologize to all our Polish viewers I'm sorry. And the reason why this is irreplaceable, I don't know if you can still get it from Scarlet Imprints. I didn't check before I came online. But um, this one is number 152 out of 900. So there's only 900 decks. And the reason why this is irreplaceable for me, even if you still can get it online, is that it's my, was my first indie deck. Up until this one, I only bought mass market decks. I was, I came back into the tarot um, community around 2018, and I saw someone showing this deck, and I thought, oh, I have to do that one. I have to get that one, and it was very expensive. <laughs> After just buying mass market decks 
in 2018 weren't very dear at all. So this was a bit of a shock to the system and it came from the UK and when it arrived it was lovely, in a lovely box all packaged up with nice paper. And uh, I, I, I remember I got so excited. I was just like, the, the emotion that's gone into this deck, I was just so excited to receive it. There's Deb. Uh, the artwork is brilliant. The mages are in etchings, black and white etchings. And the mine, miners, look at judgment. They're big cards, so you, you, I don't use them on other people. There's the sun. The moon. I don't use them on other, and the star. I'll go down to some of the miners. Um, because they are big and they're just mine. This is my deck to use. I use it more as an oracle and it's just very special. And, a, and another reason why it's very special is I bought it at the same time as a friend, my Irish friend. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> yeah, my Irish friend and, um, and he he said this was his soul deck and I can understand why. It's um, very diverse. Mainly, well, it, may, it does have females in the majors, but in the minors it has mainly males. And so the... Pentacles are green. The cups are blue with mermaids. Pentacles are green with leprechauns. And the cup and the ones are yellow with salamanders. So this is a very special deck. And even though I don't use it very often, it will always remain with me. For the lovers, two of cups. Did I show the swords? Let me just. Hmm. There they are. They're in pink. Three of Swords. Now, isn't it a lovely Three of Swords? Very special deck. It's one that is a keeper for me. Next one. It's sentimental in the... Oh. Um, in the... It's an Italian deck, so I have a few Italian decks, but it also re reminds me of the Orient as well. So this is the Tariocchi Orienti, Orientali, Orientali, uh, for dress. 1845, the Orient Tarot, by Giano, Giano, Giano Berti, Mr. Berti. He, um, he sent me a lovely little letter, and this is number 175 of 700, with a little bag to put the deck in, and a little white book explaining the history of the deck and, and Italy is one of my favorite places 
and Asia is one of my favorite places so oh, everywhere is my favorite place I should say so isn't this a lovely deck just it's ornate but it's not ornate if you know what I mean it's just a gentle a gentle coloration nothing too harsh like some of the TDMs Death's got a happy face on. So, the Queen of Swords, the Papess, the Chariot, <laughs> the King of Swords, Ace. The aces are nice in this deck. So this one is a irreplaceable deck for the memories it brings. By Gianna Berti. And he's still on Etsy, so you can get that deck on Etsy. And this, the next one is by Ilme Negello. Now that this is just a, a majors only deck, which is not my not my big I'm not a big fan of majors only, but I love Japan and I had to have this deck. For me this is irreplaceable and I, I wanted to frame it but I haven't got around to doing it. I wanted to put it in one of those different different um uh picture frames that hold all cards. So this is the Ilmato, the Ilmato Teraki Dai Hokusai, Hokusai, Hokusai by Ilmanegano Ed Dizani Milan Italian Italy. So this deck is number 27 out of 250, printing 2018. And it gives the history of the deck. But um, the, the master has now passed, Master Mengazi. So I should imagine these decks here, yeah, Master Osvaldo Mengazi. He's now passed, he passed last year. So eventually these decks will become um, very rare. And this, this is just, um, reminds me of Japan and the uh, paintings that you see there. You can see why this would look nice in a frame. One day I might do it. So, they're my sentimental, irreplaceable decks. And so we'll move on to decks that I've had very good readings with. Well, I have good readings with a lot of decks, but I was very much studying how to connect to ancestors last year 
and I was gift, gifted, I won it in a prize, I was gifted the Hoodoo, the Hoodoo Tarot, which helps to understand ancestor energy and how to talk to ancestors, your ancestors or spirit, in other words, people that have passed into spirit. So this is the Hoodoo Tarot by Tiana Lee MacQuilla. Artwork by Caitlin Fossey. And uh, I didn't think I'd, I'd connect to this deck, but I've had some wonderful readings from this deck and the, the um, information that's within the guidebook helped as well. And I was able to connect to a, uh, people who have passed for a number of friends. So this is the Hoodoo. It's a, it's a mass market deck. You can, you can buy it now from any bookstore. And it's, it's not, um, it's not great cardstock and it hasn't been cut very well, but I've had some great readings with using this deck for other people. And even though it's not my heritage, I still found this deck very helpful. And because I was studying uh, ancestor connections, I went looking for my heritage. So I've got a Gaelic with red hair. I'm Gaelic, Scottish, but with a bit of Welsh and a bit of Irish in my DNA, and possibly a bit of Scandinavian as well. The Vikings did travel far and wide. So that was the hoodoo. And I had some great readings from this deck. I was studying from Mary Henderson's book, Ancestral Tarot, and highly recommend it. And from that you can um, study how to connect. She gives you exercises on, on how to how to connect to your ancestors. So in her book, she suggests that you find a tarot that represents your your heritage. And so I went searching for the Celtic Wisdom Tarot, found two copies on auction. <laughs> and um, I forgot to bring the cards out. Damn. And uh, that's what I to do. And So at the same time, so I bidded for both, won both, and subsequently sold the other one. So this is the Celtic Wisdom Tarot by Caitlin Matthew. And I um, have been enjoying using this. I know quite a few members of the community also uh, use this deck for their practice as well. So that was um, my ancestral work. So I'll never get rid of this deck because it represents my, my, my heritage. And it's by Kath, Caitlin Matthews as well. So they're the tarot decks that I'm going to show you. I do have a few more, but they're the ones at the moment that came to mind. Now with Oracle decks, I've been enjoying the Sacred Mothers and Goddesses. Now, I remember when it was a Kickstarter and I thought, no, I won't get that because that was back in the days when I thought indie decks were too expensive. <laughs> I've since changed my mind on that. But it came out mass market 
so that suits me so this is the sacred mothers and goddesses and i think this is a beautiful oracle what i like about it is the actual guidebook of, as well as the images but the guidebook gives me um, questions i can ask i can ask so for instance let's see for peace Irene so for Irene I select three cards from my favorite tarot deck what shall I put my focus on for more peace and serenity what shall I nurture to reduce worry stress and anxiety what is my rock my strength right now so I would I did this for all oh, uh, over a year I would pull a card I'd pull a card then look up the questions that went with that card and um, there's Freya and there's her three questions what beauty within do I fail to see what inner beauty do I need to hone what force in my life do I need to honor and celebrate so I would do that and then I would put the card up on my table and remind myself about what I'd, what I'd learnt from that card. And another oracle that's just come out, which will become a fast favourite, is the divine, the wisdom of the divine feminine. And it has the same. It has the same outline in the book. It has questions. What is my passion calling me to say yes to? So I'll draw a tarot card for that what has been waiting to say yes to but have held back how can i experience more full-bodied ecstatic yes moments so that was for passion so that's my latest oracle that will be staying with me won't go anywhere and of course these two are very special can I put that I'll put that there the heart of the fairies by Brian and Wendy Froud there hasn't been any quite like these these oracles since I first got them in 2001 I think it was when it first came out I got the the fairies oracle you can still buy this you can still buy the fairies oracle still in the bookshops the heart of the fairy is now out of print but i'll show you some of the cards out of this one it came with a heart the, my edition came with a hardcover book in 2000 so I got this around 2001 and uh, has a nice explanation of what and a reverse meaning so it has a has an explanation of the card itself and if it's reverse it will tell you A different meaning. So, let's see. So the card stock's hopeless, but there hasn't been a deck like this. These are real fairies and sp sprites. And it doesn't hold back. Definitely doesn't hold back. I gave this to my sister when she came out from England. It was a Christmas present. 
she took one look and got a fright. <laughs> so I ended up with two decks. I had two decks for a long, long time and then I ended up selling one. Because I, I, I don't keep backups. I rarely have a backup for any of my decks. And um, so this has a special meaning to me and it's irreplaceable and it's the first edition and so it'll always stay with me and the system it has a system to it which is important for Kelly she likes she likes having oracles with systems so I'll put this away so that's the fairy oracle and another one that's irreplaceable is the Spirit Cards by John Arthur Mosley. Uh, I'm, I think he's going to do another deck. I'm not sure. But the artwork on this is lovely. And it has a bit of a system to it. But look at this. Look at the whale spirit. So if I need to find out what spirit animal energy people need to connect with I use this deck so for many years my spirit animal was the tiger and um, I have pictures of tigers all over the place he was with me all the time protecting me and And I don't think, I don't think this could be replaced. Look at the elephant. Isn't that gorgeous? And the owl. There's my tiger. Now that's what sold the deck, of course. So I use this deck quite a lot. It's um, always around. And I use it when I have friends coming for a reading so that's that's an oracle now another system that I've just um, I've been using runes but I've just got this one in in the last couple of months and um, aren't these bags gorgeous you can get them on Etsy uh, this is the Runic Oric, uh, Odyssey Oracle by Eva Delcourt. And I have been using runes since the 90s, I think it was. I've got my first set of runes and I have them in stones. So this one, um, and I thought this one came up on Kickstarter and I thought, Oh, I might just get them in cards and not worry about the runes because the bag's starting to break on mine. And I, I really like the artwork of these. And I'm a picture person, so these... Um, resonated better for me than just the stones. Isn't that lovely artwork? And it's on my favourite cardstock. It's got edged in black. My favourite colour is teal. So it was a no-brainer. I um, decided this had to be in my collection. Not that I have a very big collection, but I, and, I, and I do sell my cards occasionally when I think it's getting too big. Look at the ship. So that was my, um, that, that is a system and a card deck that can't be replaced. Even though you can get the stones, but I don't know if you'd be able to get cards like this. So that's my yeah, that's my um, response to Kelly's irreplaceable decks. So 
Oh, I thought I'd just pop on and show you a few of my irreplaceable decks. I have a lot more, but these ones stood out while I was looking for things. Thank you, everyone. Have a good day. Many blessings, Lucy.